welcome to Daxi Fun. Today we're going to talk about lead training your puppy. We've had Daxis for nearly 50 years and we have done showing, breeding, owning and most of all loving. So keep watching to see how we lead train our little babies and hopefully you'll avoid something like this and end up with something a little bit more like this. During last year's lockdown, it wasn't so easy to get the puppies out to train them because the vets weren't inoculating. So we had a few outings with our last litter in the puppy pram just to get them used to the outside world. This time we're able to get them vaccinated. So today we're looking at our latest gorgeous shaded red puppy here, Maisie. She's going to be introduced to a collar and she's going to be introduced to a very light lead. When choosing a new collar for your new baby, you need to go as small as you can. Quite often hard to find in a pet shop or online. These collars show how small we're going. This little cat collar with the bell on is ideal because it's soft and lined on the inside, but a short canvas one will do. Introduce it slowly to your puppy and let her wear it for a little bit of time each day, usually supervised just in case they get it caught on anything. Let them get used to the feel of it around their neck. This is the lead we're going to introduce to our puppy today. A nice small string lead. <laughs> when you're lead training, it's always best to start slow. Slow, let the puppy think of it as a game, as something that is fun and not something that to be frightened of. So here, Maisie's enjoying her first experience of an, a lead around her neck. Good girl. That's clever. That's clever. Is it scratchy? Good girl. Go on then. Go on. Good girl. Come here. So at this stage we're just letting you get the feel of it so she's not frightened of a lead. It's not hurting her. It's just <laughs> a new toy to chew, not really. And it's very light so it's not going to cause her any harm. But we're not going to chew our lead. So the puppy has had a little bit of time to wander around the house with the lead on. And we're going to start some more formal training now with it, using a nice tidbit, some cheese or chicken, to get her excited and to get her used to walking where you want the puppy to walk. So it's not really causing her any, any worry or any anxiety. She just knows that walking up and down with this little string around her neck will result in some nice chicken and a nice treat. And slowly, slowly, she will get used to you pulling on the lead and going in the direction that you want the puppy to go. Of course, every puppy's different. Some puppies take to it like they've walked all their life on a lead. Other puppies may take a little bit more patience and perseverance. This little girl, she's not sure whether she wants to play or not. She's thinking about it. She's a clever little one. But eventually she will get the idea that this is good fun. Following the lead where the owner wants will result in treats and long term will result in lots of fun walks. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Yep, I'm coming. Mm, okay, I'll come a little bit. Mm. Oh, cheese, yes, I'm coming now. <laughs> and what a good girl. She's getting the hang of it slowly. I introduce a command word. I like to say here and the puppies get used to that word, knowing that it means come to me, be by my heel. They use it when they're off the lead and they use it when they're on the lead. Once you've had lots of practice with your puppy and she's looking oh, a little bit like this girl, happy, beginning to follow the, the treat, responding to very light commands on the lead, you can start to take them outside. Obviously, depending on whether they've had their inoculations and they're safe to go out on the public road. We live in a very quiet cul-de-sac so I get my puppies out. Same thing, just before tea, when they're awake and they're excited and they're willing to learn. And I do the same thing, just going round, making them stop and start, making them follow my turns with each puppy until they're really, really got the hang of it and they're ready for the next stage of training, which will be taking them out onto the road, getting them used to traffic, getting them used to other dogs, getting them used to people. And that will be coming up in one of our future Daxi Farm videos. We hope this video has been helpful for those of you with a new Daxon puppy. Please like, subscribe, share, 
and hopefully one day you'll be walking around the ring at Crofts with your own Daxi Beauty.